Okay, so first we want to get this data from this data set into this Google Sheets. Um, and if we click down on the mouse button, the left mouse button, there I'm, I'm over the A, and just drag without letting go of the left mouse button uh, until we get to the K, and then let go at the top. Uh, by clicking and dragging, we can select a multiple amount of text. Let me also show you a shortcut. Let's say we had a long thing to highlight, or more importantly, if we were trying to highlight all these counties, uh, that would be even even harder. So another way we could do what I just did is to <laughs> avoid the link that came up there. Uh, click on the A there. Hold down the shift key and then press the K. So I'm, I'm doing the first and last um, thing that I want to highlight. Uh, and that'll highlight a big block. Now I'm going to do a control C. Uh, if you're on a Mac, that would be a command C. It's gonna cut it to the clipboard. I'm gonna go here um, and then do a control V. That would be a command V on a Mac. It'll look like nothing's going to happen and then all the data should come in. If it's an enormous amount of data, it, it might not come in. Uh, so what we have here is a data set of um, some vulnerable populations. We have every county uh, in the United States, so over 3,000 counties, you should be able to find find yours there. Um, just to show you how you would find something, um, if, if I want to look in this B column for something, I might click on the B. I'm going to do a control F, which will allow me to find. Um, I grew up in Logan County, Ohio. Uh, and I'm just pressing enter here as it goes through the different Logan counties. And there's my county that I grew up in. Um, so I could see the data, data there. Now notice if I'm looking at my data, I, I can't see what's going on up there. Um, and so that's why I might click on the first row format, or sorry, view one row. Now if, if I would go all the way down to Logan County, Ohio, um, I would be able to see what those column headers still were. So where am I? Right there. Uh, so now I can see, okay, population of Logan County, 46,000. That sounds about right. Uh, no high school diploma, 5,074, and so on. Um, Notice that these data are a little old. Um, I think there's a history of this data set and, and what happened and things didn't quite work out the way they wanted to, but for these purposes, um, it is a legitimate data set. Uh, also do notice the year we're taking from isn't quite the year that the um, population of the counties were measured. So we have to be a little careful with with our proportions here, but it should give us a rough idea. Populations don't change that much that quickly. Uh, it is worth noting that the pure number of no high school diploma or unemployed or, or whatever we're looking at doesn't tell us a lot. For example, Barber County, Alabama has 6,700 people with no high school diploma and Autauga, I'm not sure, has 66. So it looks like um, this is just a hair under this, but when we look at the amount in the population, this is actually a pretty drastic difference between these two counties in terms of their education. So one thing we would want to do is look at the rate. Um, what, what percent of the population doesn't have a high school diploma? And let me just show you how that would go. So percent with no high school diploma. And then we would take equals. So I'm saying that I'm doing a formula. This is the number with no high school diploma divided by sign over the total amount in the population, press enter. And that gives me 0.13. Um, if I just click on that cell and then double click on this one here, it'll fill in for the entire spreadsheet. If I needed to, I could drag that down if, if double clicking didn't work. And one more thing, I'm gonna click on L to highlight that entire column, change this to a percent, let me just do a percent like this. 
Okay, now we see pretty quickly that Barber County has a much higher percent of its, its county without a high school diploma than Altauga does.